is your first Alert 5 weather with Alan Rose. And welcome back everyone. After seeing a high in the lower 60s in the springs, we've cooled down quite a bit since the sun has set earlier this afternoon. Right now it's 40 degrees outside at this 10 o'clock hour, seeing a bit of a north breeze, but not really a whole lot of wind to mix things up. Just drops that wind chill value down a bit to 34. Pueblo, you're much colder than the springs right now. That'll be the case again heading into Wednesday morning. Here we have light southwest winds. 25 is what it feels like with the wind blowing, but the actual air temperature maybe outside on the patio at your house should say around 30 degrees or so. At least that's what the airport is showing tonight. 46 in Canyon City here. We're seeing light southerly winds and as we take it out towards Trinidad, beautiful out here tonight. West winds a little breezy coming off the mountains. That's keeping us a bit more mild than areas around Pueblo tonight. Current temperature outside running around 39 degrees. Now morning lows will be down to the teens, 20s and 30s. But as we look at the golf forecast, and you know, I can't believe I'm showing a golf forecast for the ninth day of December. This is for Rob Quirk, by the way. <laughs> you can see 10 a.m. temperatures up to the 50s, so perfect for tea time. Nice and mild through the afternoon in the Pikes Peak region. With sunset at 437, you might want to be wrapping up as it probably gets pretty dark by around 5, 515. But temperature wise, still pretty perfect as we'll be hovering in lower 50s. So high pressure brings us one more really, really nice day. Then we're watching this twin pair of lows that's going to bring in some big changes. We get an end of the week blast of wintry weather, some cold, some snow and some wind. Let's talk about the main impacts first, then we'll time out this system. And you can see in terms of winter weather impacts picks up Thursday morning. We're going to get a cold front with a lot of wind. Moisture lags about 12 hours behind that, so the snow won't come until Thursday night into Friday, but we're calling for medium impacts there. Cold, that's going to be a high impact with this system as highs are only going to be in the 20s and 30s and lows likely down to the teens later this week. And then visibility could be poor at times if we get some of that wind blowing the snow around. Early estimates, well more on this coming up tomorrow on News 5 Today with Sam, I would say general ballpark one to four inches for the lower elevations and we need it because so far this month we've only seen trace amounts in the springs of Pueblo. The average through the end of the month calls for about five and a half to six inches in both spots. You can see last year 2019 in December we were below average in both areas. So this is the European model and this does call for a longer duration event. I want you to keep that in mind and since it's not a high res model, it sort of broad brushes the area with snow, but I think the lighter blue shading would likely be some flurries or some lighter snow showers, but the model does call for maybe better bands of snow, some heavier snow showers, perhaps moving off the mountains and into the plains later Friday into Saturday morning. That's the, when I think we might see the bulk of it, although it likely picks up on Thursday. So your lows tonight, they do drop down to the 20s and 30s, teens and single digits in some of the cooler areas out west. Your highs tomorrow, it's going to be another beautiful day here with highs about 20 degrees above average. We drop to near average on Thursday with AM wind and PM snow. And then again, periods of snow for the plains on Friday with that snow ending early on Saturday and a warm up Sunday into Monday. For Pueblo, we go from the 60s on Wednesday to the 30s on Friday and Saturday. For now, going with a one on the impact scale, but we'll keep an eye on those changes and let you know how that develops over the next couple of days. Canyon City going from the 60s down to the 30s and a Woodland Park. We've got snow, snow and more snow from Thursday night through Saturday morning, drying out Sunday into Monday. Elizabeth.